Hey folks, how you doing there? Today we're going to be doing a video of putting um, stair treads down for traction for the for all season. Um, even though it's painted and it has the um, grit in it, it's still kind of slippery. I mean, it's not a slick, but any kind of paint after you paint a deck is going to be slippery. So my recommendation is put stair treads down for traction when you're going up and down. Just help you out. For young folks and old or old like me <laughs> but got my, my CNI glass safety first and uh, I'm gonna show you about how, about how I did it all right now I'm getting ready to do a new section now but this is the other section so let me flip around here all right what I did was lay out my centers right there see that there's a pencil line right here and right there then I got my width so I'd be evenly on my steps but even this way and even that way all right so this is what I did the other day and I'm gonna show you about what, how, how I'm about you're about doing it all right so I cut my radio off a nice Dewalt radio because I want to make a video and I said, what the heck? We'll just, uh, I'll turn it off for now while I'm making a video. And, uh, you know, help help folks that don't know how to do it. Or that do know how to do it. But this is where we're going to put stairs on the treads today. Um, I'm going to put it even here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this because the steps are right here. And that's, that's where I want them. Um... You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the way we, did, we designed the stairs. But I'm going to lay it out how I want it and go from there. All right, and I'll show you what, about what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay out a center, lay out the center, but I might have to do these a little different since these steps are not in the center. So we're going to have to make it work to, to go in this area here. So I'm going to have to cut out and trim for this. And I'm going I'm to go over both... Um, treads um they're eight inches wide the tread the tread material is and we'll go from there and we'll show you how, how it goes okay all right back in a second start laying out this stuff laying out means putting pencil marks and tick marks and where we want everything to go all right back short okay folks how you doing we got our first crow's foot or V mark there could be a crow's foot either one hope y'all can see that so daggone bright out here that yeah, y'all can see that what's well, a V mark okay I'm gonna leave a quarter inch I'm gonna leave a quarter inch over here right there and a quarter inch right there okay all right and this is 11 inches 22 inches so 11 inches would be half of that. That's gonna be our center. Okay, so all we gotta do to transfer that, well, first we'll make a mark right here. Okay, we'll make sure it's square. Okay, let me put the phone down. All right, one second, we'll make our mark. Okay, now we have our mark. Don't you see that? That's our mark, that's gonna be easy, okay? Something I learned in boiler makers or any trade will take and transfer a mark. That's our center mark right there. Right there. Okay, we'll take our tri square. It's my one of my favorite tools. And uh, we'll transfer a mark and go down here. And this is where our mark will be. Okay. And we'll just go on and complete it on down and see what we got. All right. That's how you go about doing it. So I make me a little tick mark right here. Let me see that. Then we'll take taking our, our tri square. Sorry about that. And we'll tighten up on that knob. And we'll put a Kind of hard to do this. 
Let me see. I'm going to mark. Make sure I'm flush against that wood. There's our other mark, our other center. Then we'll just continue, go down, transfer our mark. It's right here. Okay. Pause this. Be right back. Okay, folks. There's our. Um, we got all the marks down and transferred. The our center mark. Okay, all the way up. All right, and here's what we're using. We are using nine fine fine house um, nine slip nine slip tape for stairs, and this is eight inch by thirty inch ten pack in black. Okay, that's what we're gonna use. All right, um, and this is real simple. I'll come back back come back to them when we get it unboxed all right okay folks here's the, what the pieces look like they're 30 inches 8 inch by 30 inches long 8 inches by this way and the 30 inches long from here to there and I meant sitting out in the sun for a little while so they get so they can get the roll out of them lay them in the sun where it's warm and the bin will get out of them just lay him out there in the sun and Mother Nature take care, take care of his deed. But what we do here, we know this is 15 inches, but we'll mark it. Um, here we go. We'll mark it 15 inches. All right, because that's our center. All right, sorry about that. Get on there. Get that roll out of there. There you go. Get that roll out of there. And then 15 inch is right here. And we'll put a tick mark. Or a crow's foot. Put a mark. And we'll put a crow's foot, what we call it. Now, I hope y'all can see that. But that's a crow's foot. That's how you put a mark on a piece of wood or metal or steel whatever you're building that's what you want to do all right okay so that's our center on that piece and what we'll do is make sure put this up against up, up against the ledge get it as good as we can get it all right and we'll put this up against that there we go and they were on a line then we'll make our mark okay and <laughs> hard to do it just one side. sorry y'all for the crappy video job but there we got our center okay there we go we got that done okay and we'll do the same thing for the, the next piece that's in center these where I can do a little different. We're going to cut one in and then cut another piece. Okay? To make it match. All right. So we're going to the next. And we, you want to get them even. Okay. So now we're on the center. So you line the center up here to your center there. So you know you're right. But now we come across, okay, getting the right width. Um, Say... That is an inch and three quarter, and this is an inch and three quarter. So we got it right. That's what we need. And you just make a mark here. Make a mark here. Tick mark here. Okay, that way you can see when you when you when you peel the. Uh, the layer of plastic off the back of the adhesive that way you already got laid out and then after you get it laid out all your edges and everything then you want to go back and sand it rough it up and blow it off and then take a rag and wipe it off and it says, so it will that will stick to a good surface okay to prop it up 
Okay, sorry about my finger there, y'all. Smack me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, folks, we got this laid out right here. Right, right here. I saw laid out, ready to go, but I got to take it up and sand it down first. Then we're ready to go. Now we got to figure out this up here. What we're going to do with that. That's 22 inches. So we're going to mark at 22 inches and cut it mark well we're gonna mark our center first then then we'll then we'll, then we'll uh, go over there and cut it and use that same template for our corners when we cut all right i'll be right back okay folks we got it all laid out where our steps are going to go i had to customize those at top and make them look evenly and you know off the edge you don't want them right on the edge because they'll peel up all right now what we got to do we have as you see we have everything laid out that's where we got to sand uh like right here i got my marks i got to sand so we'll get our sander and i got the blower too so we got to rough all this stuff up right here and put these two together all right we'll start up here first this is where one step's gonna go all you gotta do is rough it up We'll do this one. Get all our stuff out the way. Sand in the mark. And if you got a nail. I'm gonna come back, go get my hammer and knock them down. See, see my high spots where the nails are? That's where I gotta knock down the hammer. And you can see where the high spots are. That's it. It's all roughed up. Now I'll take my blower. Uh, let me get everything off of here. This is the edges I cut off. Put them out the way. Get this out of the way too. That's a full sheet. I want them laying nice and flat in the sun. Like that. All right, now I'll take my blower. Then I'm also gonna take a rag too, y'all, and wipe it down before I lay them down. I'm gonna rag right there. any trash on the deck you know all right we'll be back in a second we'll get a hammer and beat those nails down okay folks we went ahead and nailed down them nails right right here <laughs> can't see them do good i guess all right so we're gonna start laying some plastic um treads tread tape all right Okay, folks, this is the tricky part. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to do this with the camera on edge. Well, we're not gonna 
work that way, but this is difficult to tape and try to. Let me see if I can do it. All right, hold on. Let me get started. Okay, y'all. This is some sticky stuff. I got it taped down to where I got it. I'm going to lay it down on my marks and make sure my center line is on my center line, okay? All right, here we go. Sorry we can't uh, film this part because I don't have a camp help, person help me hold the camera. And I don't have my tripod with me right now. So, bear with me. Okay, y'all, we got our line. We're right on the lines right here off a little bit okay now we'll go ahead and pull out our sorry y'all smack me and we'll pull out our tape like that let it lay flat naturally there we go alright I can have to do that Folks, we got this little roller, squeegee or a roller, and then uh, we'll start rolling. It's nice and hot. Should go on there good. I mean, it's 80, 82 out here right now. And there we go. I'll make sure she's down real good. We're a little off on this one, but I hope we'll be better on the first one. It's for safety. All right, let's do the next one. All right, hold up. Okay, y'all, I got the two steps down. They look pretty good. They got off a, off a hair. I got off a marker bear on that one a little bit. But you can't see it from outer space. You might be able to with technology nowadays, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do the little ones now. Okay? All right. See how we'll see how that goes. Okay, folks, it's all done. Um, it looks pretty pretty close. Um, I don't know who's that beeping the horn. But anyway, anyway, y'all, I want to thank y'all for watching, and let me know what you think. Sorry, it's a kind of mess up video, but did my best. All right, y'all. Well, hey, Oop. go over here, and there we go, there it is, alright y'all, hey, please subscribe, God bless and simplify, hoorah, y'all have a good one now, y'all stay cool, alright now.